Hello, good evening. Good evening. All right, hello. I hope you're having a great day or night, should I say? How was your day, uh, Wilfredo? Kind of freaky, man. I've been, I felt not good. Oh, really? Uh, I got a stomach. I got stomach problems, so mm. so I've been sick, man. But mm. okay. praying God that getting better, man. Yes, I understand. Well, I hope you feel better, definitely. Thank you. Hello, Lydia. How are you? Hello. All good. Emil, how are you? Very good. Thank you. How was your day? Nice. Fine, fine. Okay, did you uh, did you work or went to no, school? No, I study. Oh, study, okay. Yeah. Did you study in the university? Yeah. Uh, okay. What are, What is your career? Marketing. Okay. Nice. And you're taking the TOEFL to, to finish your career? Uh, I take it because I think that is a good opportunity for me, but mm -hmm. at the same time, it's going to help me in the career, so for both. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna help yeah. you. That's great. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started. Um, today, I want to wrap up the this, this first module, right? So the last thing that we were working on is the, the writing exam. And the writing exam has what type of questions? What are the two type of questions? Integrative questions. Uh -huh, that's one, very good. And one more. What are the type of questions? One more. Independent. Independent. Yeah, yes. that's, that's right. All I right. was looking at my notes. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so let's go ahead and do the, um, let's work on the, the writing conclusion, right? This is the last thing that we were working on, the writing conclusion. Okay, let me go ahead and share. Okay, so today we're going to look at how to write the final conclusion, right, for our, our essay. Okay, so we, we worked on the introduction. We worked on the body of the paragraph, uh, the body of the essay, which is uh, paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three. And then uh, we're going to look at today the conclusion. Okay, so... The first thing you need to remember when you're writing your conclusion is to use some kind of linking word. For example, you can use in conclusion, right? This is one word that you can use, in conclusion. Another phrase that you can use to sum up. Another phrase that you can use to conclude. Another phrase is for example, to summarize, okay? All right, very good. Uh, Wilfredo, which, which one are you going to use? I could use in conclusion. Okay, very good. You only have to use one, right? Only one. So whatever, yeah, right. whatever you feel more comfortable with, okay? What about you, mm -hmm. Lydia? Which one would you like to use? Which one will you use? Uh, the most that I use is in conclusion. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see, uh, Veronica, which one would you use? Which one, which phrase would you use? Uh, well, I will use to sum up. To sum up, very good. And Juan, what about you? What what phrase will you use for your conclusion? 
Okay, uh, I like uh, to summarize. To summarize, okay, very good. All right, very good. Use only one, use the one that you feel more comfortable with, okay? But you have to introduce the, the final paragraph with one of these phrases, okay? Uh, hay otras, right? But, but, you know, I don't normally use them, but if you want to use them, that's fine. Um, summarizing. Phrases and words that we can use also, you can say in short, in brief, in summary, to summarize, in a nutshell. You ever heard that before, in a nutshell? Yes, I do. Yes, that means like uh, in breve, right? Like, uh, you know, todo, todo lo que te dije en, en condensado, lo más pequeño posible. In a nutshell, to conclude, in conclusion. Okay, so this is words to summarize, it's phrases that you can use to summarize. We normally use these words at the beginning of a sentence to give a summary of what we have said or written. Okay, so the first thing we need to know about the conclusion, right? Estamos viendo cómo escribir una conclusión. We need to use one of these phrases, right? So, Elijan ya, ¿cuál van a usar? Right? Think about the one that you're going to use, the one you feel more comfortable with. Okay, tips. I want to give you some tips for conclusion. Keep it short. Keep it short as possible. Uh, the conclusion should be only about two or three sentences, right? It's not very, very long, okay? Normally, uh, the paragraphs that you're writing, the body of your essay, right? Uh, they should be at least five five sentences each paragraph, right? So let's see if we can do a, a diagram to help us, right? So first we have the introduction, paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, and then conclusion, okay? So just uh, for, for learning purposes, right? My introduction, how many sentences? My introduction, how many sentences should I have? Maybe four or five sentences, right? Four or five sentences, right? Uh, my paragraph one, how many sentences? About four or five. Paragraph two, how many sentences? about five, lo mismo, right? About four or five sentences. Paragraph three, I should have about five sentences, right? And my conclusion, how many sentences? Maybe two or three, right? Pardon, two or three sentences. I think that that's, that's fine, okay? So this is, the, this is your essay right here, right? Y esto lo van a repetir dos veces para independent uh, questions and integrated questions. Okay, so keep it simple, right? Tip number one, keep it simple, short, two or three sentences. Uh, tip number two, dice aquí también, keep it simple and interesting. All right, so make sure it's something interesting, right? Um, also, this is very important, right? Porque eh, esto lo, lo podemos hacer nosotros muchas veces. Avoid bringing up a new point, okay? The conclusion is not for a new idea. You should not say anything new in the conclusion. Okay, be careful with that. Also, what you can do in the conclusion is restate your thesis. Remember the thesis was the topic sentence, right? You should restate it. Okay, como regresando al punto del inicio, right? Regresando a la pregunta. Regresando a la razón por qué estoy escribiendo, right? why you wrote the essay. So go back, go back and restate it there. Also, reinforce your thesis, right? La thesis es mi posición, right? It's, it's, it's what I believe. So I'm re reinforcing that, but with, with, with the same thing I said, right? No estoy tratando de agregar un punto nuevo. I'm just reinforcing that. Also, avoid new details or new ideas. Don't do it. Don't bring up new ideas, okay? Porque esa va a ser la tendencia, como tratar de, tra de convencer o traer otro argumento, otro punto. No, just uh, restate your, your thesis. Keep it simple, keep it interesting. 
Okay, questions so far? Questions? Okay, uh, this is an example of a conclusion, right? Um, antes que lo leamos, I want you to come over here and see. Look, I have number one, thesis. Number two, supporting detail and call to action, okay? Let me explain what that is. Let's read this conclusion, right? Eh, el tema, no importa cuál es el tema, right? It's just an example. Teens younger than 16 should be allowed to go to the downtown shopping areas whenever they want. Okay? Solo leyendo esta primera oración, ya sé el tema. Right? The topic is teenagers uh, being allowed to go shopping by themselves. So they put, once again, the thesis here. Okay? La persona, una vez más, regresa a su punto de vista. At a young age, that is one of the, the only places they can go by themselves. It is also their decision whether they are safe or not, and teens enjoy spending time with their friends. If we let this curfew continue, the teens will not be happy about it and will not enjoy their free time as much as they want to. Okay? Very good. So this is basically what you want to do, right? You want to put your thesis. You want to uh, go back to some kind of detail. And you want to give your opinion, your final opinion. Okay? This is an example of something that you can do. Okay? So let's, uh, before we continue, we're going to do a practice today. But before, uh, before we continue, I want to do a pop quiz, right? So, solamente del tema de writing, okay? I want to ask you a little quiz. I have seven questions here for you to answer, right? So, question number one. What are the two type of writing questions? What are the two type of writing questions in the TOEFL writing exam? Come on, deberían de todos ya saber esto, todos estar aquí respondiendo. What are the two type of writing questions? Come on. Come on, this is our last class together. Come on, this is our last class. Number one, independent questions, very good. And one more. Integrated questions. Integrated questions, independent questions and integrated questions, okay? Remember, independent is my opinion, questions about what I think, and integrated is where I have to do uh, read, listen, and write and explain. Okay, question number two, what is a general statement? What is a general statement in your in your opinion? What is a general statement? Hmm? It's like uh, the main idea. Uh, yeah. No, the general statement is the first thing I'm going to write. My general statement. In in my. It is a part of it, it is a part of the introduction mm -hmm. where he where you can show the topic mm -hmm. of what you want to refer to. Yes, it's similar, right? So this is going to be my first sentence. It's going to be general, mm -hmm. right? It's going to be, right? Let's do, let's do an example, right? Porque esto sí quiero que entiendan, porque esto es lo primero que van a escribir, right? This is the first thing you're going to write, right? So I want everybody to understand this. Remember, uh, the, remember the question that we did. Uh, a, if your friend. What is the general statement? Okay. Eso deberían de, ya ustedes saberlo, ¿va? pero voy a dar un ejemplo, right? Porque no quiero, esto es lo primero que van a escribir, right? Si entran allí sin, sin esto, entonces, like, van a entrar ahí directamente con su opinión. 
Y eso no tiene que ser en el, en el first paragraph. El first paragraph is an introduction. Okay, for example, if your friend wants to lose weight, what advice would you give him or her? Important, right? What advice would you give him? Okay, so this is my question, right? This is my questions. Now, what I want to do is do a general statement for this. I want to do a general statement, okay? So what can be a good general statement? Remember, como dice el nombre, verdad? General statement es algo general. No voy a entrar con mi opinión. No voy a entrar, entrar respondiendo la pregunta. So what is a but I can use this, but I can use the same, this the same as the question is like, if my friends wants to lose weight, uh -huh. I should I'll give him some tips. Mm, yes. Take it? Yes, pero ahí simplemente estás como re restating the question. Okay. Before you do that, before you do that you need to make a general statement, okay? A general okay. statement is a general fact. Es, es algo que es un hecho real, de la vida real, okay? It's a fact. So you can say something like this. Many people uh, have a desire to lose weight and feel better about themselves. Okay, that's a general statement. Yeah. Okay. This is general. That's right. Why is it general? Porque es general. Porque estoy hablando de gente. No estoy hablando de mi amigo. No estoy hablando de mi opinión. Estoy hablando de many people. It's just Good. general. Good. Okay. I so got, this is I this is it. my general statement, right? Después de esto, ¿qué es lo que va? Estuvimos hablando de introduction esta semana. Después de esto, ¿qué va? So this is my general statement, Jen. Right, very good. And after this, topic sentence. The topic sentence. Or, uh, también se conoce como un thesis, right? But it's a topic sentence, right? Okay. Okay. Allí, Wilfredo, donde tú puedes restate the question. Allí, donde tú puedes All agregar right. lo que tú dijiste. And then, yeah, right. Step number three, sería my opinion. Or, or and advice opinions. to my friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My opinions. Okay. Ahora, aquí cuando digo opinions, no es que vas a empezar de un solo con to explicar todas esas razones. No, right? What do we have to do? Only list your main ideas. Thinking word. Main ideas. Solo lo voy a, solo voy a nombrar. I'm just going to list. That's it. Right? In the next paragraphs, allí lo voy a explicar. Okay? All right. So, I think, como le dije, the, the, the writing section, this is the most important section, the introduction. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta, duda, questions? For, the, for this, for the writing section. Okay. General statement, my topic sentence, and then list my opinions. Okay. No empezar a explicar las opiniones, just list them. Okay. All right. So, concerning the question, it's going to be like general statement. What is a general statement? Look, en realidad hay varias, hay varias diferentes formas de explicarlo, right? This is the one I, I, let me see, I think I have this one. A general statement will introduce the topic of the essay and give background information. That's it. Something simple. It's just going to give some general information. All right. Question number three. How many paragraphs should my essay contain in total? Five. Correct. Five paragraphs. What are those paragraphs? Can you can you tell me the sections? What are the sections? The introduction. Mm -hmm. The 
the body of the paragraph. Mm -hmm. One, two, and three. Mm -hmm. And finally, the conclusion. Excellent. Very good. Okay, question number four. What are the three main sections of an essay? It's the same that you explained, right? The same thing, right? So you have number one, the introduction paragraph, the body of the essay that contains three paragraphs, and then the conclusion. So these are the three main sections of the paragraph, of the essay, I'm sorry. Okay, very good. True or false, the TOEFL essay grades my spelling and grammar. False. False, false, right? They're not checking your spelling or grammar, right? I know say I get to grammar, it's Está tan mal, ¿verdad? Que ya no se entiende, que no tiene sentido lo que están diciendo. Hasta allí, sí. Right? Pero con tal que el, las ideas estén allí, entonces, it's just... Uh, all right, so that's, that takes me to question number six. Uh, what does the TOEFL essay grade? Ahora, what do they look at? What do they look at? Hmm? Maybe how to how you organize your ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. That's definitely one one. What else? Good composition. Yes, yes, very good. Communication of ideas in a clear, logical, and orderly manner. That's all they look at, communication of ideas. They say a clear, logical, in order. That's it, okay? All right, very good. That, that's why the structure is very important, right? For us to have a good structure. Number seven, what should your conclusion have? What should your conclusion have? Oop, I don't have the answer for that one. That's a look at you, Mahorita, right? So let's let's go back. I will talk about the conclusion, right? What should it have? Look, the conclusion should have at least begin with a linking word or phrase, right? Podemos usar estas, any of these. It should include two or three sentences. It should restate your thesis. It should go back and, exp and, and not explain, but go back and say, por tal razón yo creo esto. It's like restating your thesis. It should strengthen your thesis. It should reinforce your thesis, okay? Do not bring new ideas to the conclusion. Okay, very good. So how many people uh, looked at the website that I that I sent you in uh, in the group in WhatsApp. How many people looked at that website? All right, the website has twenty. I think it was twenty, right? Yeah, it was. Let me see. See some twenty. Come on, twenty different questions that you have on the writing exam. Okay, now no significa que Estas son las únicas preguntas en el examen, right? No, they can be different questions, all right? Let's read these questions and you tell me what they are. You tell me if they are, uh, you tell me if they are independent or integrated questions. Bueno, de hecho, let me see. No, they, these are all independent questions, okay? Let's read them, just read some of them. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Overall, the widespread use of the internet has a mostly positive effect on life in today's world. Number two, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Right? It is better to use printed materials such as books and articles to do research 
than it is to use the internet. Maybe you disagree. They say, nah, I disagree with that. Then you have to explain why. Use a specific reasons and examples to support your answers. All right. Number three, grades encourage students to work hard at school. Do you agree or disagree? Use a specific reasons and examples to support your opinion. Okay. Right. Algunas personas, eh, no sé si conocen este, el país, ¿cómo se llama este país? Um, Sweden. How do you say Sweden in, in Spanish? ¿Cómo se dice Sweden? Acá se Suecia. Suecia, uh -huh. yes, yes, correct. Um, ya me acordé por la, la navaja, Swiss Army. <laughs> okay. In Sweden, they don't have grades. Hasta que lleguen a... Uh, secundaria. So, desde chiquitos hasta que lleguen a la secundaria, todo ese tiempo no tienen grades. They don't do grades. No reciben una A, una B, un 10, un 9, un 8. Ellos no tienen notas para nada. Do you know that? Y tienen uno de los mejores sistemas de educación en el mundo. De hecho, fueron por muchos años número uno. <laughs> right? So, Maybe, you know, conocen un poquito de ese tema and say, no, I think that, you know, grades is, is bad. Maybe you think hey, you shouldn't have grades. Okay. What are the negative effects of grades? Question number four, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? People in today's world have become too dependent on automotives, cars, automobiles. Use a specific reasons and examples to support your answer. All right. All right. No la vamos a leer todas. But I want you guys to read this. Right? Y denle un poco de pens pensamiento a cada una. Right? Do it as an exercise. Right? Um, tomorrow or in the weekend, you can do it. Read all these. Give us some thoughts. And I want you to think about this. Right? Si me estuvieran preguntando esto, what would be my three main reasons, right? Y saquen tres puntos solamente. De cada uno saquen tres puntos, right? Just, this is going to help you with thought, with thought organization, okay? Pensando en tres, always. Think in three different points, okay? Pero denle, denle pensamiento, right? Que sean ideas concretas, right? So read all these. Que sea un ejercicio, ¿verdad? Porque ya te estás preparando para el examen, right? You're thinking, you're already, okay? I have a question. I have three points. Sé cómo traer tres puntos en vista. I know how to bring up three main ideas, etc. Okay? So do that as a homework, right? If you really want to improve, start thinking in essay form, okay? Ahora, lo que vamos a hacer ahora es... You're going to select one of these, right? Um, a link, se los puse ahí en WhatsApp. I want you to go to this website, right? And this is going to be our, our, our task today. Vamos a ver si nos da tiempo. Let's do a conclusion for one of them, okay? Elijan el que quieran, whichever you want. And you're going to do an introduction paragraph. Perdón, dije, dije conclusion. Conclusion, no. <laughs> introduction. Let's practice the introduction, right? Y si nos queda tiempo, vamos a hacer el conclusion, okay? Me quiero enfocar una vez más en introduction porque va a ser la base de todo, okay? Ustedes vieron que el conclusion es bien, bien fácil, right? Two or three sentences, restate your uh, thesis and that's it. Use linking words and that's it. But the most, ha the hardest thing to do and the most important thing to do is your your introduction, okay? All right, so let's go. I'm going to give you some time. Go to the website, right? I put a link in WhatsApp. And um, go there, choose one question, and you're going to write an introduction, okay? Me lo pueden compartir en Zoom, en WhatsApp, o si me quieren mandar el link de alguna página donde están escribiendo ustedes, okay? 
So I'm going to give you maybe 10 or 15 minutes to write a conclusion, a conclusion, a introduction, sorry. Okay. Eh, me pueden allí escribir la, el número de preguntas eh, y, y la pregunta otra vez para que sepa yo uh, el tema. Ok. Um, quiero leerlos, quiero, quiero darles feedback, quiero ¿verdad? ayudarlos con la introduction, que será lo más importante. All right. Ok, so go ahead and, um, and tell me, tell me what you think. All right, no pasen mucho tiempo leyéndola todas. So, I mean, just choose one. Whatever you want, just choose one. Okay, anybody has questions? Todos saben lo que estamos haciendo? Any questions? Okay, so I'm going to keep track of the time, right? I'm going to give you a three minutes to prepare, 10 minutes to write. Okay, so at 8.45, we stop. 
five minutes. We have five minutes. If you're finished, you can share it in, in WhatsApp or you can share it here in Zoom, okay? Okay, guys, is someone finished? Okay, Veronica, you're finished. Okay. Uh, Veronica, what what question was that from the from the website? What question was that? Where's the question three? Question number three. It says grades encourage students to work hard at school. Do you agree or disagree? Okay. Very good. Let me read it. Very good uh, general sentence, Veronica. Very good topic sentence. You, you put a question there. Very good, excellent, Veronica, good job, okay? Thank you. Uh, when you say there, in my opinion, I consider that great stop stu students to feel excited, maybe we can change that. A uh, great stop students from feeling exciting, excited. So you could use from. I consider that great stop students from feeling excited and that's it that's the only okay. that's the only thing i can tell you it's very good thank you okay alguien más hello anybody else has theirs let me see in whatsapp nadie escrito en whatsapp todavía copy paste put it there okay uh so Veronica, you can do now the next exercise, right? The next exercise is, digamos que ya escribiste el, the body of the essay. Ya escribiste paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three. How would you conclude that? How would, what would be your conclusion? Okay, I will try. Okay, try it, right? Eh, Juan, eh, tengo, pero hay, Juan, 
Juanjo. <laughs> I don't know if that's, that's the correct name, but I have one here. Uh, over the last few decades, as automotives have come affordable, uh huh. ¿Qué pasó? You didn't finish. Sola, solo eso, eso va a ser toda tu introducción. No, right? You need to finish. Okay. That's it, guys. No more time. No more time. Right? In el examen, no le van a dar 15 minutos solo para la introduction. No, -uh. you have 20 minutes for everything. Okay. Come on, send it to me. I want to read. Okay. All right. Juan, uh, which one are you doing? What question? Hello, hello, nadie me está respondiendo. Estoy tratando de comunicarme con ustedes. Andan por otro mundo. <laughs> what happened? Okay, Sola, solamente dos personas hicieron la tarea. That's it. I only have two answers. I got, I got mine, there are two. Eh, I forgot to put the number of the question. But where is it? In WhatsApp or? In WhatsApp. You put it in WhatsApp, okay. Eh, yeah. You put it in the, okay, very good. Let me read yours. Um, Okay, Alejandro. That's Wilfredo. That's you. Okay. What question did you do? Number three. Number three. Okay. Question number three says: Grades encourage students to work hard to work harder at school. Do you agree or disagree? Okay. One of the most important points in the learning process, education around the world, is to get good grades because, in that way. We can evaluate the knowledge of the students and also we can determine if someone's help is in. Very good, very good, Wilfredo. That's me, that's mine. No, that's yeah. somebody else. Ah, that's, that's mine, that's sure. somebody else. Esa, eh, pues sí, por eso dije Alejandro. Yes, yeah. all right. Okay. I am Juan Anaya, but in WhatsApp ah. it appears Alejandro. <laughs> ah, okay, bueno, no sé. Okay, look, this is my feedback. Tenés una oración bien larga que continúa. Okay, it's a very long sentence. Okay, la voy a leer para que tú veas cómo suena. One of the most important points in the learning process education around the world is to get good grades because in that way we can evaluate the knowledge of the students. Y ya me cansé de leer. <laughs> do, do you see? <laughs> it's because it's very long. Okay. Lo primero que tienes que hacer, general statement. General statement. Okay. Short, general statement. Then topic sentence, and then list your reasons and your opinions. Okay, very good. Wilfredo, I'm going to read yours. Yes, most, of the that one. most of the educational system around the world grades the students to work harder at their school. Punto. Ahí está. That's a general statement. Very good, Wilfredo. Yes, okay? yes. Yeah, you in the topic sentence. Does grading encourage students, students to work harder at their school? ¿Qué te faltó ahí? Una interrogation, right? Una question mark. Yeah, right, right. I, 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 I forgot. I, I did a mistake there. I agree on that. Okay, very good. En vez de decir, I agree on that, podemos decir, I agree with the statement because, first, it motivates the children to go for their goal. Secondly, the evaluation is very important. And so parents should be notified of the attitude of the child. And thirdly, it is important for government institutions to evaluate. Okay, very good, Wilfredo. Ya va, va mejorando bastante. Very good. You have your general statement, Thank you. your topic sentence, and you list your ideas, right? Very good. So, ahí, ahí oh, todo tiene que tener cuidado, ¿verdad? No, eh, write in a complete sentence. Okay? Yeah, right, right. All right, very Thank good. You. Who else? Who else? Another one? Uh, Juan, Juan Ho. He said Juan Ho Cornejo. <laughs> Juan Jose, is that is that your name? Yes. Okay. What question do you have? Question number four. Over the last 
over the last a few decades, no, over the last a few decades, no, over the last few, quitale la a, over the last few decades, as automotives have come, have become, become more affordable, many people have become disinterested in the amount of pollution that their vehicles create. A current obsession with automotives has caused public transportation. Okay, lo que yo veo aquí, Juan Jose, no sé si ese es tu nombre. This is the problem that I see, Juan. You don't have the general statement, you don't have a topic sentence, and you're not listing your reasons why, okay? Que es, la, que es lo más importante en la introducción, right? General statement. Okay. Uh, what is your general statement? Yo creo que más o menos va ahí. Over the last few decades, as automotives have become more affordable, many people have become disinterested. Yo creo que eso quería decir. Disinterested in the amount of pollution that their vehicles create. Um, okay, solo que la pregunta es, do you agree with this with the following statement? People in today's world have become too dependent on automotives. No, the question, Question number four, it's not about pollution. It's about people becoming dependent on cars, okay? So you have to be careful there, Juan Jose, right? Okay, thank you. Okay, remember, general statement, topic sentence, and list your reasons. So the question here is, have people become dependent on cars? What do you think? Yes or no? Yes, I depend. Okay. Yes, they depend too much on cars. Okay, you need to have a general sentence. Una general sentence, Juan Jose, puede ser algo bien general. Por ejemplo, algo que podemos observar en nuestro ambiente. Eh, na, for example, in El Salvador, we have more and more cars on the road every every year. ¿Sí? Cada año hay más carros circulando en las carreteras del San Salvador, right? That's a general statement. Es algo general. Then I'm going to give my topic sentence and finally I'm going to give my reasons why. Okay? Eso es una introduction. One. You need to go back. My recommendation, Juan, no sé si has estado aquí en la clase. My recommendation, no sé si estuviste el lunes, martes y miércoles. Hablamos bastante de topic, de introduction. My recommendation is that you go back and watch the videos. Okay? Go back and watch the class. Porque, okay. porque no es un introduction para un essay de TOEFL. Okay? All right? Vas por ahí, vas por un buen camino. Solamente necesitas como aclarar lo que es un general statement, lo que es un topic sentence. Ok, Verónica. Eh, Verónica hizo la conclusion. All right, guys, so I'm going to read it. This is my conclusion. To sum up, it is important to mention that grades may have a bad impact on the effort students put in the classes because they feel disappointed when having exams and bad grades. Also, there are always students that do not feel satisfied with the way the teacher grades their exams or activities. Furthermore, I hardly consider that grades do not encourage students to work hard, okay? Very good, Veronica. Uh, your, your conclusion, Veronica, estos tres puntos que están aquí, me imagino son los que tú escribiste en, en el paragraph, right? In the body of the paragraph, right? So what you can do, ¿te acordás algo que vimos allí in the conclusion? Restate your thesis. Mm -hmm. Reinforce your opinion. Right? To sum up, I believe blah, 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 blah. Right? Es como regresar a conclusión, right? Conclusion. Everything I said. Everything I said, it... This is my conclusion. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Very good, guys. Uh, anybody else has any questions? Okay. Let's look at the 
the the website that I that I share with you, the one with the questions, right? Let's do an example, right? No sé si alguien vino aquí. Let's do well. Voy a elegir una así random. Okay. Let's do number fourteen. Let's do number fourteen. Right. Let's do it together. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Sometimes it is better to be dishonest. <laughs> Sometimes it is better to be dishonest, okay? What do you think? Okay, so let's do, let's do uh, a topic sentence, I mean, a, a general statement. What is the general statement for this question, for this question, for the essay? What, what can be a good general statement? Some people, recuerden empezar así como algo que se observa en, el, en la vida real, right? Some people think that it is okay to tell a lie under certain circumstances. Es una opinión general. Algunas personas piensan tal, tal cosa. Okay. Sorry. General statement. Some people think that it is okay to tell a lie under certain circumstances. That can be a, a general statement, right? Okay. Let's do another one. General statement. Number 17. Let's do a general statement for this one. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Students do not respect their teachers as much as they did in the past. Okay. What can be a good general statement for this? Hmm? A general statement is something that Nowad you can observe. Uh -huh. nowadays, nowadays, students disrespect, disrespect their teacher because of the new generations. Because of new generations. I don't know. Because... That's what it comes to my mind. Okay, very good. Okay, very good, very good. Es algo general? Yes. Yes, right? Yeah. Pues estoy hablando de cómo yo veo el mundo, la forma que se puede observar el, el, nuestro ambiente o el mundo, algo como like a fact, you know, something that you can verify, right? Nowadays, students disrespect the teachers because of the new generations, all right? Very good, very good, mm -hmm. Wilfredo, right? Ya, ya, ya estás agarrando lo que es un general statement, very good. Um, let's look, let's look at Trying to eight. get it. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. And you're going to become better, right? This is like driving a car. This is like, like driving. You're going to become better, better every day. Okay. Question number 18. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? The most serious problem in the world will be solved during my lifetime. Mm, I don't know. That's a, that one's a little difficult one, right? Oh, problem. The most serious problems in the world will be solved during my lifetime. Okay. Uh, something like a general statement. Some people believe. General statement. Finish. Some people believe that they can manage everything in the world under several problems. We have put in their lifetime. Or in the lifetime. Yeah, that's okay. good. Very good, all right, there you go. That's an example of a general statement, right? General statements siempre empiezan así como algo general, like, oh, lo que dice la gente. 
lo que se observa en tal país. El eh, dato de inmigración dice tal, tal cosa. Okay? It's like a fact. Mm -hmm. Right. Ahora, ¿por qué es, existe esto de general statement? Right. Why? Why do we need, need a general statement? Okay. It's because you want some, the reader to connect. Okay. You want the reader to, ah, sí, yo tengo, yo he visto eso también. Yeah, that's true. I've seen that a lot. Uh -huh. That's true. I've seen that. I've, I've observed that. I've lived that. Yeah, that's true. Y allí le generas el interés. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Very good, guys. I'm going to stop sharing now because uh, time's up. Okay. I just want to take the time to thank you for giving me the opportunity to teach you, to show you what the TOEFL is about. Okay. Uh, we looked at the reading of the TOEFL. We, did, we looked at uh, the listening part of the TOEFL. We looked at the speaking and the writing part of the TOEFL. Okay. Con tal que ustedes agarraron estrategias. De eso se trata, right? Que en cada sección tengo herramientas para poder hacerlo. Okay. I have strategies and I have tools to work, right? De eso se trata. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, take care. Okay. Uh, inc I encourage you to continue learning, to continue growing in your in your in your English. And it was a pleasure being here with you. Okay. All right, okay, guys. Good. Okay. Thank you guys. Take care. Hey, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you guys. Take care. Okay. Good luck. Thank you, man. Thank you.